This is the next step up from the two litre fermenters we saw earlier. This is a stainless steel 50 litre fermenter. This fermenter can operate to good manufacturing practice and can therefore produce pharmaceutical product. This fermenter would allow us to check all of the fermentation parameters we've established at smaller scale and it also allows us to prepare sufficient material for downstream processing. This vessel is often used for manufacturing product for clinical trials where you need limited amounts of product to, to commence a clinical trial before going to all the cost of larger scale manufacture. As this facility is used for the manufacture of pharmaceutical products, the staff wear clean room clothing. All of the operations within this facility are controlled by standard operating procedures and worksheets which are filled in and then reviewed at the termination of the manufacturing activities. By the time we get to this stage, we've already established the key critical parameters for the fermentation. So at this point, all of the parameters for the fermentation are fixed and defined within the manufacturing documentation. This vessel allows us to do process validation by looking at doing three consecutive lots to ensure consistency of manufacture. Samples taken from this fermenter would be used in analytical method development and particularly for qualification and validation of those methods. We use this facility for a lot of our customer requirements, in particular for manufacturing product for clinical trials use. One of the unique capabilities we have here at Porton is to undertake pharmaceutical manufacture under containment conditions. In addition, we can run this fermenter under both aerobic and anaerobic conditions. This fermenter allows us to grow a number of organisms such as E. coli and anaerobically Clostridium botulinum. The products produced here would be either native or recombinant proteins, either therapeutic products or vaccines. Once we've done the fermentation, we can take the product into other rooms within this facility and purify the product of interest. We have a series of containment cabinets and we have automated purification systems very similar to the ones we have in developmental. Again, the customers we'd, we'd be serving in a facility such as this would be small biotech companies with products being taken to clinical trials, some of the larger pharmaceutical companies and again some of our governmental customers. We, we can take a customer's product all the way through development to support clinical trials with it and we can then either manufacture the product ourselves or we can technology transfer it to a manufacturer of their choice.